During the days of Windows XP and Windows Vista, Microsoft made the operating system unusable once the trial period was over and no license key was entered. For people who can't afford to purchase a licensed Windows copy, they're left with no choice but to go for a cheaper or free cracked version. These illegal cracked copies of Windows resulted in financial losses for Microsoft. To solve this problem, Microsoft started letting Windows 10 users keep using the operating system without activating it. This has led to reduced piracy of Windows. Most users end up purchasing the license and others still use other Microsoft products. The loyalty to Windows operating system has greatly increased and it is a win-win situation for Microsoft. Windows 10 and Windows 11 users can use non-activated operating systems for as long as they want. But there are disadvantages or limitations of using a non-activated Windows operating system. In this video, we will look into these disadvantages or limitations. First problem is the activate Windows watermark on screen. The watermark appears in the bottom right corner of the screen, and it remains there no matter what tasks or applications you are running. The watermark appears even when you take a screenshot. This watermark acts as a reminder to activate Windows operating system and not use a non-activated Windows. Second problem is the lack of crucial security updates. Windows 10 and Windows 11 require regular mandatory updates that play an important role in keeping hackers and malicious users away. Although you can run third-party antivirus software to protect your non-activated Windows PC, an activated Windows will ensure you get security loopholes fixed as soon as they are available, providing better protection. Third problem is the lack of frequent bug fixes and patches. Although Windows 10 and 11 are quite reliable operating systems, bugs or problems could appear when there are compatibility issues with different hardware and softwares. Activated Windows can get these bugs patched as soon as they are available. For non-activated Windows users, they might have to live with the problem or wait much longer for it to be fixed. This can affect the user experience when having problems with apps or the entire operating system. Fourth problem is delays in the introduction of new features and new builds. Windows operating systems are always updated with new builds and new features may be introduced in these builds. Activated Windows operating systems will always be the latest and non-activated Windows users may have to be stuck with outdated versions of Windows. Fifth problem is the continuous reminders or notifications to activate Windows. Although Microsoft won't force you to activate Windows, you may receive persistent and potentially annoying notifications and reminders to activate the operating system. Most people might get used to seeing the notifications but this could still interfere with work or concentration. Sixth problem is the limited customization of the Windows operating system. Non-activated Windows does not allow users to modify the appearance of the operating system. You may see the same look and theme every day that may make it dull and boring. Background and wallpaper settings are limited to default wallpapers that come with Windows. The default theme can't be removed. Non-activated Windows won't allow modification of colors of applications, windows or taskbar. Lock screen cannot be modified or personalized as you would like it. The fonts or appearance of text on your operating system is set to default and can't be changed. The start menu settings can't be configured, limiting the convenience or accessibility of apps. The taskbar can't be customized, and this is a problem as the taskbar is a vital part of Windows. Seventh problem is that Windows upgrades will not be free. If you are using a licensed copy of Windows 10, the upgrade to Windows 11 is free as long as your system meets the requirements. With non-activated Windows, an upgrade is not available. Users can still install non-activated Windows 11, however the limitations of non-activated operating systems will still exist. Eighth problem is possible legal issues when used in a commercial environment. Using non-activated Windows for individual or personal use is fine but is not recommended in a commercial environment. Using illegal methods to activate Windows or using unlicensed Windows operating systems may lead to legal issues in the commercial environment. Windows is an amazing operating system. I personally use Windows 10 and Windows 11 on different computers. Use a licensed copy of Windows to benefit from a full-featured operating system whether for personal or commercial use. On TechTube TV, I make useful and easy-to-understand videos on technology-related topics. If you like my content, 
please consider clicking the subscribe button to follow my future video uploads. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.